welcome to my channel and this is episode 5. In this episode, we're actually going back in time. As I mentioned before in the last episode about an alternate DIY video on restoring the undercarriage of my car. So if you have not yet seen that video, please go check out that video and support your boy. Okay guys, uh, before we start, you may have noticed in this part of the segment, I will be using a video voiceover. I was having the difficulties with the um, audio back sound and during this editing, it came out just really choppy. But anyway, I uh, want to give you guys a quick rundown on what I've applied on the undercarriage. First, we'll start with the first coat using POR15 Rust Preventer. It is direct to metal, but make sure you clean the surface before applying. I'd also recommend buying a six, four, uh, six pack four ounce can versus a big can. That way you can finish up the one small job at a time. Um, number two, our second coat, I grabbed this one from a local hardware store. Um, it is basically a water resistant, needs more protection underneath from getting any rust. I grabbed the white one so I can see where spotted um, area that I didn't, um, I didn't spray for the future um, uh, third coat that, I, that I'm gonna be using. Um, they harden pretty quick once you apply so you're gonna need a few more of those brushes The third one is the seam sealer. You can purchase this anywhere online or local parts store I've used about two of these to cover the gaps underneath the car between the metal and Unfortunately 240SX S13 chassis did not have an OEM sealed underneath the car. So this is definitely an upgrade It's nice to have this uh, 30 years down later Before starting this project, I had to remove a bunch of stuff underneath the car, which means removing the gas tank, rear subframe assembly, and last but not least, the braking fuel lines. I highly recommend doing this for clearance purposes. Now, I'm using the angle grinder with 60 grit flap disc to strip out all the gunk and old layers through the metal. I've also used the wire wheel brush to remove the gunks and harder spots area. After all the old stuff has been removed, make sure to clean the surface with acetone before applying the POR15. Unfortunately, I lost footage when I was applying the product, but I'm sure you don't really want to see me doing that boring stuff in this segment. Otherwise, I'm hoping you're enjoying this video so far, and I hope it gives you a visual ideas coming from my experience. So here's an update on our undercarriage. And I did lay some all the way back here to the gas tank area.
here's an update after laying the first laid coat of this product. As you can see, if you look closer, there's a bit of spots that I've not yet covered. That's because I wanted to run through the easiest area as I can. And to keep in mind that using this product dries really quick and it's very thick to brush on. So like I said, like I mentioned before, you're going to need a few more of those uh, brushes. I'm really liking the results so far. I really want to finish the second coat just so I can start laying the sealer on, especially the gaps between these metals. So I'm trying to fill in and cover as much as possible. There will be less water, we'll get in underneath the chassis.